Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as I move to my next guest. I've got Dr. Chris Purnell. She's a fellow of the American College of Preventive Medicine. She's here to talk about taking us beyond the COVID vaccine. What does an unvaccinated America mean for our future health? She's going to give us some information. Dr. Purnell, thank you and thanks for being here on the Valder BB Show for the first time. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, the, the topic of the day we know is COVID in, in many in its multiple forms, vaccinated, not vaccinated. So why are so many Americans skipping the routine vaccination uh, just in this last year? Because we've lived through an unprecedented once in a lifetime public health crisis. Um, The coronavirus pandemic has fundamentally changed our lives, right? It changed whether or not you went into the office for work. It changed whether or not your children went into the physical school building. And it also changed whether or not Americans went to visit their primary care doctor, especially for those well visits, those routine appointments where you get your vaccinations. We know that in the past year, approximately 26 million Americans miss those routine vaccinations. If we drill down on childhood immunizations, we saw a precipitous drop um, in the spring of 2020 of almost 70% in childhood immunizations. And what better time than August, which is National Immunization Month, to help people understand, look, we got to get back on that horse, that good health, that health prevention and disease prevention horse, and do what's going to keep the most of us healthy and protected. What's the importance of staying up to date? Is there a big deal if you miss a year and then you finally get it? Why stay up to date? Staying up to date is so important, Valder. Let me tell you why. We know that vaccines save over 8 million lives each year. And I want to repeat that for everybody who's listening over 8 million lives each year. So it's important each year to make sure you are staying on schedule. If you think about what keeps you healthy, if you think about what keeps you the healthiest you, the best you possible, that's healthy living. And healthy living is healthy eating. It's not only healthy eating, it's physical activity. It's not only physical activity, it's stress reduction. It's not only stress reduction, but it's getting vaccines. We know that vaccines are the reason why we don't have smallpox, we don't have polio, we don't have measles outbreaks robbing people of lives and disabling them. So in order to prevent shingles, get vaccinated. In order to prevent the flu, get vaccinated. In order to prevent whooping cough, get your children vaccinated. What is being done to increase people's confidence to get the vaccine uh, um, that they've missed? Not the current vaccine, but the ones that they've missed. So two things. I want to first stress for everybody. When you go in to see your primary care physician and you get your coronavirus vaccine, you can get the other vaccines that you're also due or the vaccines that you potentially have missed. We know you can do that at the same time. The second thing that I want to emphasize for people is we need those who are in the know to stand up and to share their stories, to stand up and really help the public understand and decipher the science. We in the American College of Preventive Medicine, that's dedicated to more than 2,000 preventive medicine specialists. You know, we have a medical license plus a master's degree in public health. We know the importance of vaccines. And the more that we can step forward as a part of this, we are vaccine confident, so you can be too campaign, the better all of us will be together. So that's what we're doing. And we're helping people to understand not just the importance of the coronavirus vaccination. Look, there in Texas, you're dealing with only approximately 46% 
of the population being fully vaccinated. Um, if we think about it across the United States, it's a little bit over 51%. But we want everyone to understand the importance of all of the vaccines. And that's what we're doing in this campaign. Okay, it's a great campaign. Where does my audience go and find out more? Because they do have questions. Definitely. We want to help you get those questions answered. So you can go to vaccineconfident.org. Again, vaccineconfident.org. If you go to the website, you're going to learn about the coronavirus vaccine, how it's safe, how it's effective. And also, you're going to learn about all vaccines and the decades of research and science that has gone into this powerful life-saving tool. And if you have a specific question, a preventive medicine specialist is ready, willing, and able to get you that answer. I like that. Thank you so very much, Dr. Parnell, for talking about this and helping us to be more healthy. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.